Hey folks, Dono here with MasterFlash.net bringing you another Drupal 7 commerce tutorial. In this particular tutorial we focus on uh, quantity price breaks based on user selection and uh, obviously what I mean by that, if you take a look at this table down here, all right, we've got this set up so if the user is going to buy one or two of these particular products the price is going to be $30 a piece. If it increments by one, the price is going to break a dollar twenty-nine. If it increments by one, twenty-eight, and so on. I'll show you how to set up the uh, you know final price break point to where if it's uh, seven or above, this is the final price break that we're going to get. And obviously, we also add the uh, widget ability in here to add multiple products. So if I wanted to add ten of these particular products in here at twenty-five dollars a piece, I can add to cart. And obviously, that final price is going to be two fifty if we view this in the cart and uh, also a part of this check it out quantity still have user control within the shopping cart itself and uh, again if I drop this down to say five and I update the cart check out the price here alright so the price adjusts based on this amount and the total adjust based on this amount as well alright so that's just one example through this and of course um, you know, the, the reason why I showed this one first is that we've got it incrementing by one down here, okay, which is a little bit different than having the products increment, let's say, well, not really increment, but let's just say, you know, groups of 10, all right? So if they're going to buy, you know, seven products, it's going to be $50 a piece. If they buy 17 products, it's going to be $45, and so on and so on. And uh, obviously, we have the, uh, the, the price break cap here as well. All right, so if we wanted to, uh, you know, maybe push this up to uh, 16 or 34 and hit add to cart, not only does the previous cart show, but the current cart shows as well. So obviously at 30, since we're in between 31 and 40, obviously the price for that is going to be $35 a piece equaling out to this. And then of course, if we want to, uh, you know, push this up to say 50 plus, we can update cart and everything is going to adjust in the cart as well, given the uh, customer complete control of uh, quantity of the products. That's pretty much it. And of course, what we also cover is showing you how to bring out the widget, the cart form, the price table option, basically showing people what they can do. That way, they, in, the, in the taxonomy list or your, your product catalog, users will have... <laughs> 